<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Marianne and Nicolas. We are from Les Sorciers in southwest of France. So we have a great great news to share with you. We are leaving for a hydroponic world tour in four weeks. Yeah, can you imagine? This is very exciting. example of how hydroponic culture is made or aquaponic culture and we had to learn it all from the internet but then in the internet it's quite complicated so we decided to do this world tour in order to go and meet people that are related to hydroponic or aquaponic culture farmers urban farmers and see how it is done elsewhere so. No, Nicola, the cat stays at home. We are living on December the 8th and coming back on February 22nd. Uh, so this is like two months and a half. And we hope to learn as much as we can. We hope to meet as many people as we can. And we hope to record everything and post it online like every two days or twice a week. <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do. We are now in France, we are part of the AVF association and we are working together with Gene Hydroponics. Traveling to Argentina, visit our former teachers Vivero Villa Monica and a company called Babel. Next is Uruguay, we will be working in a hydroponic farm Verde Agua. In Patagonia we will be staying with the famous Hydroponia Hydroflora and then go to Chile and meet the founders of Cloudponics. Heading north to California, we will visit General Hydroponics and then in Los Angeles meet with the creators of local roots, containers, urban farms. In Tucson, we will visit the University of Arizona and their very advanced hydroponic researchers. Leaving the US, we will then visit some very low-tech urban farms in Mexico and Cuba. It's now time to go back to Europe where we have so many cool places to visit, starting with Bioaqua Farm in England, Agricool in Paris and Urban Farmers in Switzerland and then go back home. If you happen to be on one of those countries or nearby, please contact us in the comment section below or by mail if it is on our website. We will be thrilled to visit another uh, greenhouse or another farm or someone else. Internet is great. We found many, many informations, but too many informations and some of them we are... Uh, Meeting people is better. So we want to go there, we want to meet people, we want to see how things are, are done and this is so important for us. In working, we will be doing some woofing in some farms, we will be just visiting in others and it's by touching things, by things, seeing things, by talking with people that when people can learn something. We can easily imagine how the world will be in 10 or 20 years. As you all know, many many people, few lands, not many places to agriculture so urban farming is very important in our imagination a city like Paris has like 30 50 small urban farms all led by small organizations and families and group of people that have one goal to produce nutritive food uh, in a sustainable way and to deliver it to local people hydroponiculture and aquaponiculture will be so important in the development of urban agriculture if we want our dream to come true, we have to help those people to build these projects. We really hope that the small organization that we're going to visit can be an example and an inspiration for many people that want to have a hydroponic or aquaponic project and want to build a farm. We have to invent a world that respects nature and human. So we're going to take the road and we're going to record everything to 
tell that story, to tell the story about our future. Our first goal was to share knowledge and tips about aquaponic or hydroponic culture. Our second goal is more human actually. We want to show the world and show the future farmers how cool it is to be a farmer nowadays. But the only way we can prove it is to go and meet people and share the story with all the people that are following us. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up.